All right, guys, this is the Big Barry 350 uh, differential that I took out the other day uh, on my other video. I just wanted to show you how this comes apart. There's two 14 millimeter bolts, and then there's six 12 millimeter bolts. I've already got them all loosened up, so we'll just take them out. I didn't drain the oil out of it the other day, and the reason I didn't is because I worked on it before the ATV, and uh, I was going to change the rear end oil for him, and I took the plug out, and it wouldn't even hardly drain. So I just told him about it, and I filled it back up, um, topped it off. I got what I could out of it, but I knew that it was probably pretty nasty inside. You can see there's a lot of gunk around the bang and seal there. This is the part that bolts to the axle tube on the swing arm. And you can tell that it's uh, obviously the axle tube bearing is shot and the seal and the brake drum seal. If all those are good, you shouldn't get all this crud in here like this one has. There's a lot of water and mud that's got in here. Um, after you take the bolts out, there's two little ears. One here. Hopefully you can see it. And then one right here. And uh, those are kind of a good place to pry the cover off of the differential where it separates. Just get you a little flathead screwdriver. It'd be easy, you don't want to tear up the aluminum housing. But if you start working on one side and go to the other, it should pop up off of there. So this one's pretty loose now. Uh, I'm going to try to pull it off one handed here. I haven't had it all the way apart yet so we'll see what it looks like inside. I got a feeling it's going to be pretty bad. Looks like I was right. Somebody has uh, filled this one with grease. It doesn't have oil in it at all. It's just full of grease. Which is better than nothing. But oil would be best. Um, obviously they probably were in water a lot and uh, the oil was probably the seals were probably bad and the oil might have been leaking so they just packed it with grease and put it back together I can't really tell much about the teeth on the gears because of the grease you can see this I don't know the splines in there are pretty rusty and bad And then here's your pinion gear. You can see it in there. Doesn't feel like it has too much play on the shaft, really. It's kind of uh, got resistance when you spin it, but that's probably got a lot to do with that real thick grease they put in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's pulling that grease around when I turn it. So, uh, I'm not sure what he wants to do about fixing this yet. But I know this bearing here is probably bad. And the seal, that's what seals the other side of the differential where there's no axle tube. So, uh, probably replace that for sure. Probably plan on cleaning all this up with some, maybe soaking some diesel and try to get all this old grease out of here. And then if I can replace the seals and uh, make sure all the bearings are good or replace the ones that aren't. Um, he said something about maybe just wanting to weld the axle to the ring gear. That's not the best option, but he's going to get by kind of cheap, and uh, I think it's actually not not going to be too bad of a, an idea just to try because, you know, if the ring gear splines and the axle shaft splines are bad anyway, and the only thing you're out if you your weld breaks or doesn't hold up is just the ring gear and the axle that you would have had to buy to begin with and any labor to put it together. So we may end up trying that. Uh, I'm going to try to keep you updated on what I end up having to do to this thing to get it back together and operational again. There is where the splines for the drive shaft that come down. The drive shaft comes down through the swing arm 
and mates with these splines on the pinion gear shaft. That's obviously got a lot of rust and stuff in there too, so I'm gonna clean it all up and then I'll uh, see what we got once I get it all clean. So stick around, maybe I'll have another video up showing what we got once I got everything cleaned up.